Would you, is it, is it like um, sing music to your ears? No. Oh. To my ears? What do you think about them? What do you say? It's fine. I don't know, yeah. I've got nothing to say. What do you know about Jesus Christ? Well, I do believe in Jesus, but I don't believe he's God, I believe he's a prophet. But where, where do you think that Jesus comes from, the story of Jesus? <laughs> it's okay, I mean, I mean, were you born a Muslim, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm here to share just, a, you know, as a Christian, just to kind of share um, the Christian version of Jesus. So Islam actually takes the story of Jesus from the Bible. Did you know this? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's... Um, so Jesus Christ is uh, he's the son of God, right? Yeah. Did you hear about this story? Yeah, I, I think everyone knows that that's what Christianity is about. Yeah. So can you open this? This is a gift for you. Yeah. It's not gonna bite you, I promise you, right? No, I, know, I, know. So I promise. You. I mean, you studied Irene school. I, did you study Irene school? Religious oh, education. Really, yeah, yeah. This is. I mean, I looked into different religions. I think. It, so if you look, like this is the Gospel of John, right? I'm not going to read the whole thing with you, but essentially, what is um, what is talking about? You know, the beginning is is that you know this is us humans, and this is the cross, and this is God. So the Christian belief is that our good deeds will not take us to take us to heaven. And uh, we need um, a savior, we need Jesus Christ. What do you think about them? Um, I mean, if you believe that, that's fine. Um, yeah, you have every right to believe what you want. But yeah, yeah, that's yeah. What I, that's not what I believe. But would you, would you agree though, in, in general, like anybody could be born Hindu, atheist or Christian even or whatever, but they could be born in the wrong belief because not all religions are correct, only one way. So how would you know which one is the correct way? I think it's, I think it's your choice to choose what you want to believe in as long as it makes you happy. I mean in Islam, it, this is in Islam, I don't know how much you know about Islam, but actually... Yeah. I don't know much. Huh? I don't know much. No, I'll share that you can research it yourself. Oh, can you pick it up, John? That one. So in Islam, actually, um, Allah predestines everything. So Allah, um, he, he does, you know, have you ever heard of the saying, uh, Allah does what he wills. Um, yeah. Yeah, so in Islam, research it, you can find out yourself. In Islam, everything is predestined. So Allah would even decide that me and you are having this conversation. Well, you seem very shy. <laughs> or he would decide who goes to heaven. Um, but in Christianity, we don't believe that. Obviously, we believe that God knows everything. But we also believe, believe that we are... That too. I believe that God knows everything. Yeah. So yeah, God knows everything. But the difference in Islam and Christianity is that Allah, um, you know, guide who he wills. You heard this, right? Or researcher. In Christianity, we believe that you yourself are responsible to, uh, to find out yourself. And um, yeah, do you... that too. Yeah, but that's not what Islam teaches. Uh, but that's, that's what they, you they, believe. They, no, they do teach it. They, they, they believe that everything is predestined in Islam. No. That, that is... John, can you get the verse up that everything is predestined? <laughs> no, it's just to show you. Do you know what? It's all for you to find out that everything is predestined. So, you know, it's a strange relationship because... On, and this is where... We need to humble ourselves and feel like, okay, we, God knows everything, but we have a responsibility. A but do you, no, in the Quran, uh, but do you think you're a good person? Yes. Do you, I mean, this is another difference, right? That um, I'm not saying that you're a murderer or a, or a thief, of course. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. You seem like a very decent person. But in Christianity, we also believe um, that we're all sinners. Have you heard of the concept of sin? Yeah, we all sin. What is, yeah, what is your understanding of sin? Well, sin is like when you do something bad, I guess. Yeah. So, would you? So, have you ever done anything bad? Of course, we all have. We're human beings. Yeah. Of, yeah. I'm glad you say this. So, I mean, this is yeah. a, so it doesn't obviously say Allah predestined everything in the Quran. So it, it doesn't say clearly, oh, Allah predestines everything in the Quran, but Allah seems to be used in the language of predestination. So when we when we mean predestination, we mean Allah causes things to happen without my will being. But I don't have free will in Islam. 
Do you have no, no, you read it to us? So this is what it says. This is Surah 10, 100. But that's it? from the Quran. So it says, No soul can believe except by the will of Allah. And he will place doubt on those who will not understand. So notice, he says, No soul can believe except by the will of Allah. So I don't have a view. It's not by my will I'm deciding to believe or disbelieve. It's by Allah's will. Yeah, we, we, I don't know about that, but... That's the do. Quran. Well, you can research it anyway. Yeah, we do I mean, generally believe that we actually do all have free will. The only, we believe that, like, for example, angels don't have free will. Human beings, he created human beings to have free will. Right, well, that's so that we would actually. Have free will. When you yeah, go on. Sorry, if you want to, because I don't want to interrupt. You lot having we a nice conversation. Down. We do sound, no, no. But so there, there's many verses. Do you accept hadith, by the way? Well, I said hadith. Do you know what hadith for? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they're the sayings of Muhammad. Do you want me to hold this? So they're the sayings of Muhammad. Essentially, I have I have a low a long list of them. I'm just gonna. There's one actually Quran verse. I'm gonna get it's up. It's just for you to research. You yeah, know, it's just for your research. Say this, you know, it's yeah, um, let me just get up right here. It is, I think, it is. Uh, so here is one hadith. There's there's a ton of them. So this is what it says. This is Sayyid al Bukhari six six o five narrated Ali. While we were sitting with the Prophet, who had a stick with which he was scraping off, he lowered his head and said, "There is none of you, but has his place assigned." Do you know what assigned means? Oh, so assign means that. You, you've been so when I when I make an assign so when the teacher says that you've been assigned to this place in the class, that means you, that it's mandatory. So you've been put in this place. That's what Muhammad is saying. Yeah. So I, remember the word assign means put. Right. That's the, that's literally what it means. Yeah. There's none of you that has his place assigned, either in fire or in paradise. Thereupon a man from the people said, "Shall we not depend upon this, or Allah's trustful?" The prophet said, "No, but carry on and do your deeds." For everybody finds it easy to do such deeds as will lead him to his place. Then the Prophet, so basically what Muhammad says is those who Allah wills to be guided to fire will be guided. And those who he doesn't will to be guided to that place won't be guided to there. And it's, it's one, of his, one of his disciples, Muhammad, asked him, well, what do we do then? And he just said, well, do whatever deeds you can because whoever Allah wants to go to heaven, they will do good deeds. And whoever he doesn't will do bad deeds. Uh, and there's another, there's another Quran verse because that one's a bit tricky to understand. So there's another Quran verse. It's here. So it says, "By a soul." Obviously, that's in the Quran verse. I've got it in a list of here, but you can literally look up the Quran verses. So it's chapter 91, verse 8 of the Quran. It says, "By a soul and him who balanced it and breathed into it its wickedness and its piety." Sorry, did I? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. So uh, by a soul breathing it is wickedness and its piety. So Allah breathed into me and you, your wickedness, your piety. So any good deeds or bad deeds you do will be by Allah's will, not by yours. You don't have free will in this one. You don't, I mean, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll just read this out to you. So you, you believe that, for example, adultery. Do you know what adultery is? Yeah. Okay. So again, sleeping with somebody outside of marriage. So do you think that Allah causes adultery? No. Okay. Well, Muhammad thought he did. It says here. And this is Sunan Akwam, this is Sayyid Muslim, book 003. So this is the hadith, this is the sayings of Muhammad. Yeah. And you as a Sunni cannot deny this. It says here, Very, Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in, and which he of necessity must commit. So when Allah's fixed something, can it be changed? Anything can change. So Allah's will can change. So, uh, but uh, but we're not talking about anything. We're talking about God. Do you believe that you believe God is one, right? Yeah. So you believe that God is powerful. He's all powerful. Yeah. The Quran says He's Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, the most merciful, most loving, right? Yeah. So if Allah is all powerful, can I, a human being, change His will? You can't. You're human. I can't change His will. So when, God, so when He says that I'm, He's made me a Christian. Can I change His will? Think yeah, yeah, have a think no, about it anyway. No, 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 I don't, I don't so the, the question, I'll, I'll put it in a simple way. So yeah. Allah is all powerful. You believe that, right? Yeah. Right. Allah has a will, right? So Allah, if Allah says something to me, can I, can I not do it? You have free will to, to do as you 
shoes because you're a human being. But hold, no, she didn't get the question. So the question asks, if, uh, if I say something, let's say I will, or I say to that tree, turn green or turn blue, can I do that? No, you can't, you're human. Yeah, can Allah do that? If he wants to, he can do it, but... Why can Allah do it? No. Why can Allah do it? He can if he wanted to, because he's no. a creator. Because he's the creator, right. Yeah. If he says to me, as a human being, that I can't fly, can I, as a human being, negate that will and fly? <laughs> it's, it's a hard concept. What we're saying is, look, essentially, what do you consider free will? We all have free will. Well, what, what is free will? What, what it... To do... To choose our own path and do what we want. To choose your own path, right. The hadith I read out to you says that Allah has fixed the portion of adultery I'll commit. If Allah has fixed it, so Allah has caused it, can I not do what Allah has will? <laughs> I'm confused. Do you like, do you not, I don't do you have to think about it. Yeah, have a, have a think about it. No, the, the point is, I mean, if you look, to investigate yeah. this and you're on time, look it up online, there is somebody called Paul Wait, What is it you're trying to say? Get to the point. So the, the entire point is, look, I believe that Allah has not given us free will. Okay, and From I disagree. You disagree? Yes. I've shown you passages that agree with me and they don't agree with you. Yes. So the passage I brought up, for example, the Quran verse where it says that Allah will open the chest of who he wills to Islam. Yes. That's, that doesn't mean I have free will. And it says he will, he will misguide those who he wills. Oh, if I so misguide somebody, yes. is it their free will to choose to follow me? Everyone has free will. But no, notice how you've gone from everybody has free will to what the Quran says. The Quran says that Allah chooses your will. That's what it says. Because Allah says, I misguide who I will, I guide your will. Basically, and long story short, you don't believe that Allah gives you free will. I don't believe Well, from what the Quran's saying, the no, Quran... You don't, you don't believe that he gives you free will, right? What? This is the thing, the Quran states clearly that he gives you the will. Do I believe he gives you free will? Obviously I don't. But I believe that but essentially I would say it's the Quran is more is more favorable to my position than yours. I would say as I would be more of a Muslim than you would because simply the Quran is stating as I show. Not not I don't know your heart, but again I know this. If, so but would you say that a man who follows God should follow his words? I think the name of Muhammad. Do you know what? At the end of the day, I think you have your own Buddha. life. You choose what you want to do. So, if it, so I want to ask you a question. So I want to ask you, if you choose, let me finish, so I, I want to ask you this thing, just one quick thing, right? if you choose whatever you will to do, right, or you want to do in this life, you have free will, can you show me one Quran passage that says that you have the choice of your free will? Generation. I think what you're trying to that do is, is relate you everything to Islam. You on the streets life is not just about Islam. Because so it, so wait, 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 Islam wait, wait, doesn't matter then? No, 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 no. You have charity with the That's cheeky. But you said life doesn't matter, it's not all about Islam. No, what? Quite because simply. the children are dying quite, every day. The children just are being just taken into um, gangs. Quite simply. The children I think everyone has the right to choose activity. what they want to believe in the matter. Is that in Islam? No matter, no matter what religion. Is that in Islam? No matter what religion. Is that in Islam? In Islam? So you can show me. The thing is, to be honest, you're speaking to, you need to speak to the way, the questions that you're giving me, you need to speak to the professional, the scholar, because I'm not. The, the reason why I'm not, sister, the reason why I'm not speaking to a scholar is because scholars themselves are entrenched in theology. They don't care about reason. But with you, I know you at least have the ability to reason. So I'm asking you the question. Can you show me one passion in Islam in the Quran? Because again, you believe in the Quran, right? And today, if, even our yeah. 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 So if you believe in the Quran, can you show me one passage in the Quran? Again, that states clearly that that you have free will. The questions that you're given, you need to speak to someone if you want to receive the correct answers. You need to speak to someone with the correct knowledge who has um, a lot of knowledge of Islam. Because I don't have a lot of knowledge, I just have the base knowledge. So if you point out this is the Quran, that Quran is 
but Anything I wouldn't be because I'm not that well, Today, I'm not that well. And that's because honest. No but, but notice how you said, yeah, you did say it on camera, you said that the Quran teaches free will. That's what you said on camera. So are, are you, will you retract that statement? Because again, you've told me to go. The, 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 can you back it up with uh, so, a hadith or brothers? I, I don't know why this whole conversation is so funny. Because you're a Muslim, we're Christian. Yeah, no, we, we wanted to, we want to anyway, somebody wanted to give you this, by the way. It might be like you're just talking about Islam when it's many other Because we believe that Islam is a wicked religion that will send people to hell. That's a fact. But we believe Jesus Christ. Any other we believe that Jesus Christ is the way to truth. That's what we're saying. I'm speaking to the right. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, I'm not the person. Why? But, but hold on, Amy. Why shouldn't I speak to you about a religion you believe in? You should be, you should be speaking to someone who has a good amount of knowledge, who's confident, who knows a lot of person, who knows the Quran. So you're telling me you I'm believe not, in something you don't know? I'm not. I'm not someone. I believe in the person and I know what I believe in because. But you just admitted you don't. No, it's okay because I have to go, madam. You know, we're we're yeah. here to imagine to think about things anyway. You know, we're, we're, you know, I talk to not just Muslim, we talk to Hindus, I can't get it. But I just think it's good you. I just think that's something. Yeah. First of all, you are putting words in my mouth and I do not appreciate that. And you're I didn't put any words in my mouth. You, you, you specifically you, said on camera that you believe that Islam teaches free will. That's what you said. No, I repeated what you said and then I read out Qurans and Hadith verses that affirm that you don't believe that Islam has free will. You didn't need to fight with me. No, let's, I'm feeling right. John, let's leave it. It seems very personal. Here's the thing. I'm not trying to be antagonist or personal. One minute, Amy. I'm not trying to be antagonist or personal. But what I'm trying to do, because we can play a sub story all we want. What I'm trying to do is affirm that there is a truth and reality. You would agree with that because you're a Muslim. If you believe that Islam is, that's not the question I ask you, so I'm not, I'm not going to engage that question. The, the question I asked you was, does Islam teach free will? I mean, you can walk if you want, that's fine. It's fine, you can walk if you want. But that's, that doesn't answer my question. I, I think the reason why you're getting emotional is because you didn't want to answer the question I asked you. No, it's not that. I don't like the way you're speaking to me. What, because I'm telling you that you said something incorrect when you stated that the Quran teaches free will. So all I've said to you now is, are you going to be honest? Because you're lying to me right now. Are you going to be honest and claim that the Quran doesn't teach free will? Because I've just read two verses that where it does, sister. This is not about attacking people, but this is about being no, honest with what we believe. We do it to love. We just let's leave it to this. We want basically we just wanted to think about it. Um, you know, because would you agree objectively? Forget Islam. Not all religions can be true. Only one of them, right? And there is a good chance you may not be Islam or any other religion. So we just presented you with some information, and then you can, you know, we gave you a book, and we just wanted to go on think about it. No, oh, oh, to be the truth. I mean, I don't have to engage in this conversation anymore. But have a blessed day. Take care. And we'll see you then. I don't, I don't no, have wait, I want to leave in. Uh, yeah, what, I'm really sorry. Um, that whole conversation. I feel like he just. I'm being honest. I feel like he just put words in my mouth. And any answer that I'm giving, he just. I, he's not sat with it. Obviously, I don't have. I don't have the knowledge. I don't have. No, wait. You need to speak to someone who's well versed, who knows the Quran inside out. If you want to ask these questions, go to the But we believe. We believe women. We believe. Women, we believe Women, Can I finish what I'm saying? Sorry, yeah. Those are the people that you need to go to. And now, I just realised something now. I wish I never did this interview because I thought you guys were just going to like talk to me about Christianity and everything. But now, like, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. I didn't, I didn't like the tone of your voice. Okay, can I explain I've got, Christianity too? I'm sure I'm saying. I've got nothing against any religion whatsoever. I solidly believe whatever you want to believe in, Okay, whatever mix you happy, no matter what religion it is, even if you're an atheist, it doesn't matter. If it makes you happy, that's the most important thing. But madam, it could take you say, what I'm saying. The most important thing is that you are happy. Okay? If you are happy, that's all you need in life. It doesn't matter what you believe in. At the end of the day, every individual has their own life. Their own life. Okay? And also, I want to say lastly, 
that this whole conversation, I just realised you were just comparing, you were just talking about Islam, you were just comparing Christianity to Islam, but you weren't talking about any other religion, you were basically, which I feel kind of like, I actually feel a little bit offended, because why weren't you talking about all the other religions, but you Because they don't, that's what I'm saying. But why were you talking about, why were you not talking about all the other religions and you were just talking about Islam, you were just targeting Islam? I, I personally feel a little bit hurt by that. I finish what I'm saying. I personally feel a little bit hurt. And last, last of all, you know, I was having such a good day. But now I'm like, like, I feel kind of emotional right now. I was like happy and smiling and now you got me in camera, which I don't like. So I appreciate you. Yeah, I wanna. Uh, we're gonna go in a minute. Uh, I, I wanna say. I'm, I wanna say because like, we have to go. Just, it I would appreciate if you delete the video in front of me right now. Cause I, we, I don't, we, I don't we don't. Want to be we, we don't. We we can delete the video. Yes, you can. No, it's, right. you can. Yes, sir, yes, you can. You delete the video right now. We we, we uh, You can you can call the police. So there is no obligation to delete videos. Honestly. Can you delete the video? Honestly, there is no obligation. But I wanna say to you, honestly. Can you delete the video? No, because we we record our. But I want to leave you with this, madam. You need to delete the video. I have the right, and you know that. It's not honestly. If you you can look it up, because I've had this no, situation it before. You need to delete it. I will stop filming now, but I can't delete it because it's my video, and we've agreed to, to have a final conversation. Right now, I don't have to, madam. You can, but I don't have to, and I don't want to. Yeah, because why? why? Because I, illegally, I'm just explaining legally. We don't have to delete videos. I promise you, I wouldn't say this. Is a civil matter, but also um, I want to say that in response to what you said, yes, people can follow what they want, they have free will, but our motivation is that we don't want you to go to hell. And we spoke about it. Because it is. I could listen, I could say, I could say someone else and anyone else could say about you. How could you wish anyone to hell? You cannot say that. Because, no, 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 no matter what religion you are, you cannot say that about anyone that you are going to tell. You have no right. The Bible, the Bible is the word of God and it's our authority. You can't say but that. would you would you agree, oh, madam? I mean, the you know that you don't know where you're gonna go. Mohammed said that most dwellers of hell are women. Did you know you this? can't condemn someone to hell just because. I didn't condemn it. Your religion. If you look into Sunnah.com and put women in Jannah, it tells you repeatedly that Muslim women will go to hell. I'm not here because I want to tell you, madam. I'm not here out of hate. I'm here out of love, and all only want you to. Do I don't feel the love. Let me just say that. Okay. I don't, can you open that book? I want to read you a few verses because I, I don't want to leave it like that. Can I? I didn't feel the love from him. It was like a simple conversation. All of a sudden, he just turned to something else, and I was like, okay, what's going on here? Like, it's just to show you the difference that in Islam, yeah, but can't, you respect, can't you respect someone for what they believe in? We don't be sitting in this country about equality, and you have the right to choose what you want to believe in. Yes, you have the right. You cannot force a religion. I'm not forcing no, 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 no. anyone. You cannot force a religion upon anyone. Every single person in the world has the right, especially in this country, have the right to believe what they want to believe. I agree with that. Do you really? Absolutely. I did not feel that way at all. If I'm being no, we, we, okay, the, we, because I didn't feel respected just now. Like, you, you can't even, you can't even respect that I believe in Islam. If I believe, I, believe, I respect that. No, I don't think you do. So we leave you alone now. I will leave you alone now because I, I don't wanna I don't wanna make you further upset but I wanna if you wanna if you wanna come back to Christianity, the first thing you have to do is basic human kindness, which I did not receive right now. I don't feel the love. You're saying that I just wanna leave you with love but I don't feel no love whatsoever. And plus you're gonna put this on the internet, show my face, which I don't appreciate whatsoever. We can hear your face. We are we living in a generation where our children are even looking unto the parents. Why are you so and the parents are not telling them what's right. Because this the is what we do and legally I don't have to delete it. Parents, Why didn't you say that you actually recorded me? I did I'm say, you knew there was a the microphone. Madam, I have to go now, but can I get someone to speak to you? To it, they're building. Hell is birthing more people.
you put out the Can you speak to this lady? Hell. We're going go to go. Hell is continuing to increase. Hell is friends. continuing to enlarge. We don't you have to delete the video. You can say because your child is young. That doesn't mean that exactly. Hell. About what we're discussing about this time, but we have to go now. But the grace of God, the mercy of God, the love of God, the peace and the Holy Spirit is pouring himself out in mercy.